are you lying where are you being bound where are you are disturbed whatever may be your situation your god has come with the splendor your god who is full of light we read in the book of hebrews that he is full of light is full of light yes the lord full of light is calling each one of us come and join in my light rise up wherever you are lying rise up and join in the in the splendor because your light has come an opportunity has come for you now an opportunity god is opening the door for you now that you may enter into his light that you may all the darkness that covers you may go away from you an opportunity god with his all his splendor is coming for you he says you rise up wherever you are wherever you are lying you have to rise up if you rise up you will enter into his light for he says the glory of the lord will shine upon you the glory of god to which you and i belong to god has created us for his glory that's what we read in the book of isaiah chapter 43 verse 7 you are created for by god and for god yes he has chosen us for a purpose yes and we read the book of isaiah chapter 43 verse 21 says that when his light comes you will know that the glory of god that you are created for god he says i have created you for myself i have separated you for myself there are so many people in your family but i chose you separately i kept my eyes on you and so many times you were trying to go away from me but i never left you i was going on pulling you pulling you pulling you because you are mine i have chosen you i have separated you many things of the world will come many things may not of the world may not be available to you but one thing is sure i am available for you my love is available for you my power is available for you my glory is available for you so let not that which is passing away take control of you in the presence of that which is everlasting that which is eternal that which is life giving so rise up to celebrate your life rise up into the splendor of god rise up into the glory of god for the glory of god has come he says verse 2 see the darkness is covering this earth and when you look at this dark world you get upset the world and the people of this world are covered with thick darkness thick darkness yes but upon you my light will shine upon you my light will shine he says yes the lord is calling us telling us my son my daughter the whole world is lying in darkness everywhere evil we read in the book of isaiah chapter 5 verse 20 people are calling good as bad bad as good darkness as light they know it's dark but they say it is light the light they call it darkness sweet they call is bitterness and bitterness only they are enjoying that evil only they are enjoying you we you and i we find a, a man of 25 years 30 years sometimes 50 years old 60 years old man taking 4 years old girl raping her very very difficult to understand the kind of evil is hovering over india hovering over the world man with the man woman with the woman all kinds of evil is coming and the evil is covering covering darkness doesn't come immediately you know first slowly dark comes 5 o'clock goes away sun goes away 6 o'clock slight dark 6:30 7 o'clock 7:30 
darkness darkness by 8 o'clock it is full so slowly the darkness is covering the world and seeing that so many people are not able to see the light so they all get frightened disturbed we are living in a frightened disturbed world the darkness comes in the absence of light so the immediate answer is run and get to your light get back to your light that you can keep the darkness in its place you can't stop the darkness that come against you it is covering the whole world the darkness is coming so it is your your and my duty is not to become victim of the darkness and are to fight with the darkness are trying to come out of the darkness which is many of us do no that is not our call the lord says the whole world is lying on darkness but you rise up to the light you rise up to the light for his splendor is waiting for you so god is calling each one of us rise up rise up to the light and he wants to shine upon you yes we are living in a in a world that may be full of problems but doesn't mean that it is a full of gloom as long as we know the truth as we know john 8:32 says the truth will set you free and yes john 8:36 we read if the son of man gives you victory nobody can stop that victory yes when the son of man gives you deliverance you are delivered indeed so the lord is calling you my son my daughter rise up you got to get up i was told once i had gone for the retreat one man was crying shouting lord take away this cigarette smoking cigarette from me taking away take away. so i went and so many people are told father that man is crying shouting i said what is the problem i am praying to the lord to take away this habit of smoking cigarette taking it away take away cigarette from me take away sir much good you have prayed god has heard your prayer but but i don't know father the cigarette is still in my pocket i said only you can throw it away no take it away i want god to come and take away the cigarette otherwise when i go back to the room again i will see the cigarette again so take it away sir god oh he has he given you the hand oh he has he given you the brain to understand your cigarette is there it is burning your heart it is destroying your heart that's why they kept the back eh, pocket on the right on the left side where the heart is there so you should know it is going to burn you but you don't want so you got to rise up you got to rise up if you rise up that's what jesus said read john's gospel chapter 9 verse 4 read somebody can read john's gospel chapter 9 verse 4 we must to work the works of king the works of god we must to work the works of god we must to work with god ah uh. uh. ah i am working while it is the day while it is the day i am working while it is the day it says you are to work while you are while it is the day we must do the work ah see while it is the day we must do our work why in the light has come it is a, now the retreat is an opportunity to have the time to listen to the word of god to have the time to meet yes while it is the day an opportunity is given to you yes why He is telling yes. We must do the work of the one who sent me. So while it is the day, we should do the work of the Lord who has sent us. He has sent us. What is the work? Rise up. When will you rise up? When an opportunity is given to you. When this opportunity, if you don't make use of it, what will happen? Jesus is saying, listen. 
are you then night will come there will be in everybody's life it's a time of grace for you to know the truth and in this time of truth if you don't build up your life time will come darkness will come the time of night will come ah uh, when no one can work read when the night will come Yes, when no one, Jesus says, the Father has given me three and a half years. In these three and a half years, I should, I should build up myself in the Spirit. And I should build up the disciples in the Spirit. And I should complete the work for which He has sent me. After three and a half years, I will die. So this every minute is so precious. Yes. The book of Ephesians chapter 5 says, we are in the dark world. The time is, we are in the evil time. Be alert to take care of your time. Yes. Yes.